What's the biggest worry you face when you buy a new technology or gadgets like smartwatches or electric cars? It's mostly how well they'd work and for how long. For example, a lot of people complain that Apple watches don't last very long, and others wish that EVs could go farther on a single charge. Addressing these concerns, Australian researchers have pioneered a groundbreaking battery technology that could provide five times the power of traditional lithium batteries. It can also offer EVs with a range exceeding 1,000 kilometers while remaining economically viable. There are some really revolutionary innovations happening in the world of EV batteries now. So if you want to know what kind of battery this is and why it's so great, just keep watching until the end. Sulfur is the main trump card here, considered an industrial waste product and the 10th most abundant element on Earth. The latest development involves a sugar-doped lithium sulfur, or Li-S battery, exhibiting up to five times the capacity of conventional batteries. Unlike the prevailing lithium-ion technology, Li-S batteries offer a cost-effective solution and the promise of smaller, yet more potent batteries. This big discovery has been possible due to a special kind of sulfur crystal called monoclinic gamma sulfur which stops unwanted reactions with the electrolyte. This was a totally accidental finding, but it has led to the creation of a lithium sulfur battery capable of maintaining optimal performance through an impressive 4,000 charge cycles, equivalent to a decade of typical use. Researchers at Monash University in Melbourne have further refined the lithium sulfur battery design, reducing the required amount of lithium while significantly enhancing durability. The addition of manganese to the battery not only reduces the need for lithium, but also contributes to a substantial reduction in the overall cost of the battery pack. This development is important, as lithium is a costly component, constituting the primary expense in battery packs. While the price of lithium has experienced a 40% decrease in the current year, it remains a significant factor in the overall cost of battery packs which typically hover around $90 per kilowatt hour. The introduction of nanoporous polymer-coated lithium foil anodes by the researchers is supposed to hold more energy and could potentially halve the cost of lithium-ion batteries. Despite these promising advancements, challenges persist, including performance issues over time arising from physical and chemical changes, such as the swelling and shrinkage of the sulfur cathode and the pollution of the lithium anode by sulfur compounds. Lithium sulfur batteries have one major issue. The parts inside, called lithium anodes and sulfur cathodes, react and form tree-like structures called dendrites. These dendrites grow from the lithium anode and damage it along with the electrolyte, which is like the battery's bloodstream. This damage disrupts the process of electrolysis, which is the basic working principle of any battery. It makes the battery weaker, and it dies too soon for practical use. Regular lithium-ion batteries last for 1,000 to 2,000 charge cycles, but lithium sulfur batteries in labs only last a fraction of that, so they would die after just a year or two of normal use. This problem can also make the batteries short-circuit, as we've seen in some EVs this year. When that happens, the flammable part inside the battery can catch fire, this is the same issue that has caused problems in other EV batteries, like the ones in Tesla. There was recently a Tesla battery fire in Australia, and it wasn't the safer lithium iron phosphate kind, it was the riskier lithium ternary battery. But why exactly does this dendrite form in the first place? Well, this happens due to a very common problem called polysulfide shuttling. Polysulfide shuttling in batteries is a leak that happens between the positive and negative parts causing the battery to lose power and work less efficiently over time. It's a challenge in making batteries to last longer and perform better. Scientists were dealing with a wide range of problems in batteries, specifically lithium sulfur ones, as they broaden their focus beyond the release of polysulfides from the positive electrode. They found that the battery's anode, which is the negative electrode, could get overloaded with sulfur which must not happen if the battery is to operate at an optimum level. Inspired by a study from 1988 about sugar-based substances stopping decay in sediments, these scientists added materials with sugar into these batteries. 
This surprising discovery could help prevent issues within the negative electrode of the battery, making it more stable and last longer. They added a special substance made from sugar, which comes from things like corn or sugarcane, to the part of the battery called the cathode. This saccharide-based substance acted like glue, creating tiny structures that stopped polysulfides from moving to the other parts of the battery. At the same time, it made the polysulfides more stable and better at producing electricity. This improvement brings us closer to using lithium sulfur batteries in things like EVs and renewable energy systems. The experimental battery showed a remarkable capacity of approximately 700 milliamp hours per gram, indicating efficient charge storage per unit of mass. Notably, this high performance remained consistent over 1,000 charge cycles, showcasing improved stability and longevity in lithium sulfur batteries, a significant advancement in energy storage technology. Also, a PhD student together with the lead researcher Declan McNamara of Manash Engineering concluded that the thin polymer coating on lithium significantly improved the number of times the battery could be cycled. This special material used in the battery has very tiny holes, much smaller than a billionth of a meter. These holes let lithium ions move around easily while stopping harmful chemicals from damaging the lithium. This is the key to making lithium sulfur batteries last for a lot longer than it originally can. The material also acts like a support structure for the lithium, helping it charge and discharge many times. Researchers compare lithium to a powerful tool that, if used correctly, can make really good batteries. This new coating brings us closer to making efficient and easy to produce lithium sulfur batteries. Fellow professor at Manas University, Manek Menjumder, said Lee Metal Protection Technologies will become crucial in our quest towards energy-dense and sustainable batteries of the future. The study establishes a new framework to protect Lee Metal from rapid decay or catastrophic failure, which has been an Achilles heel for Lee S batteries. Another team member, Professor Matthew Hill, said the market for electric vehicles, drones, and electronic devices is on a steep growth pattern, and this research is commercially ready for manufacturing to support that growth. Now, as per ReChargeNews.com, the lithium sulfur batteries are one of the several new battery technologies vying to make inroads into the dominance of the lithium EV market, especially in electric cars. If we talk about alternative chemistries, we have diverse options in hand, such as zinc ion, sodium ion, air lithium ion phosphate, and hybrid batteries like the M3P, a fusion of the innovative manganese lithium phosphate battery with notably elevated energy density. Making lithium sulfur batteries better involves making sure they are consistently made well, improving the design of the electrodes to store more energy, and figuring out how to make a lot of them to keep up with the need for more energy storage. Even though these are tough problems, if we can solve them, lithium sulfur batteries would be revolutionary. Once these challenges are overcome, lithium sulfur batteries have the potential to transform energy storage, significantly extending the operational lifespan of smartphones and electric vehicles. Researchers anticipate a two to five fold increase in energy storage compared to current lithium batteries. In electric vehicles, this technology could triple the range potentially reaching up to 1,500 miles on a single charge, or even 2,500 miles according to some estimates. This makes lithium sulfur batteries sustainable for high power, long-range applications like electric vehicles, drones, and satellites. Selena Mikolajczak, Chief Battery Technology Officer of Startup Lighten, stated at the Bloomberg Energy Finance Summit in San Francisco, a commercial lithium sulfur battery could make electrification something that is abundant where it's easy to electrify everything. Lighten is currently developing a lithium sulfur battery as well. Lithium ion batteries, crucial for powering electronic devices, electric vehicles, and grid storage, confront obstacles arising from limited nickel and concerning cobalt supply. Nickel, a key component enhancing battery performance, is not only scarce, but also has significant environmental repercussions. Meanwhile, cobalt, essential for stability, raises human rights concerns due to its predominant mining in the Democratic Republic of Congo, often involving child labor. 
The high costs associated with both metals have spurred research into alternative cathode materials. The concept driving lithium sulfur batteries is rooted in the abundance and affordability of sulfur, potentially offering a cost-effective and geopolitically stable alternative to current lithium-ion batteries, which carry a price tag of approximately $150 per kilowatt hour. Currently, electric vehicles can cover around 300 miles on a single charge with lithium-ion batteries. Lithium sulfur batteries hold the potential to double this range or create a lighter electric vehicle due to their higher theoretical energy density. However, challenges in developing and mass-producing reliable lithium sulfur batteries include technical and economic obstacles, compatibility with existing infrastructure, and addressing performance variability. External factors like temperature and humidity affect battery performance. Breakthroughs from Manas University provide hope for overcoming these challenges and accelerating the commercialization of lithium sulfur batteries. So what are your thoughts on this groundbreaking innovation? Are you excited about the potential it holds for our future devices and renewable energy? Share your comments below and don't forget to hit that like button if you're as pumped as we are about the future of energy storage. If you haven't already, subscribe to stay updated on the latest EV tech trends. Thanks for watching.